what is the reality of weight loss versus what you expect. Stick around and find out. I don't know about you, but in my mind's eye, when I started my weight loss journey, it was, well, let's just say, a lot different than what I pictured. You, like me, may have seen the commercials, a person who is most definitely overweight appears, then just a few exercises later, they are buff and they're skinny. Real life is seldom like this. Of course, there are always exceptions to this rule, but they are exceptions, not the norm. Now, this is me last year. Yes, I know, definitely not healthy. And this is me this year. A lot better, wouldn't you say? This transformation took me a whole year, yet I still have a good way to go before I'm at my goal weight and body fat percent. This has caused me to review why am I actually doing this? When anyone starts a health change, they have in their mind's eye what they want to be, or better yet, how they want to be and appear. I am no exception to this rule. Some people expect to be happier. Now happiness is very subjective. Research does show that weight loss can lead to feeling satisfied, which leads to feeling happier, but this is only temporary for one reason, that there's many other things that affect your happiness, not just this one thing. The primary focus should be on creating a healthy work and a healthy personal relationship while incorporating hobbies. Some people expect that the weight scale will change the moment they start implementing healthy habits. The reality is habits are very hard to break. You may remember my bad habits from my video, What is Your Food Kryptonite? Healthy change is a process, so is weight loss. In regards to the weight scale, some people expect it to be a single line downwards. If only this were so. On top of factors such as water weight, hormones, whether or not you went to the bathroom, your body can have daily fluctuations. The overall goal should be the downward progression with the reality that some ones or sometimes this is generally downwards, but not always the way we like it. This leads to the last expectation. Some people think the scale is the only way you could track your progress. This is absolutely not true. In reality, the best way you could track it is through fat loss. You may perhaps remember my video should you trust the BMI skill? If you recall, when Arnold Schwarzenegger won the Mr. Olympic title, he was technically overweight, according to the BMI scale, that is, but he had a low body fat percentage. Focusing on fat loss is much more important than focusing on weight loss. When you lose body fat, you are changing your body composition. Maintaining an appropriate body composition simply means a healthy ratio of body fat to lean mass. While losing weight also equates to losing inches, it is completely possible to lose inches without losing weight. That's why it is important to incorporate healthy exercises, which includes weights. I don't know about you, but when I step on a scale, it never says how much muscle I gained or lost. The best way I could determine this is by the mirror. Remember, don't give up. Be consistent. Being consistent is the key to success. 
Weight fluctuations can be and are normal. Don't give up. Keep going forward. In some of the upcoming videos, I will be talking about what to do when you come against that diet wall. Also, when you should reevaluate your SMART goals. So, what are some of your health change expectations? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video. If you've liked it, please press the like button below. And if you're not a current subscriber, please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell icon so that you can receive notifications when I publish new videos. Remember, health is worth it and so are you. I will see you next time.